Hey what's going on guys, I'm about to go over how to script out a YouTube video in less than 30 minutes without getting writer's block, having people click off the video in the first 10 seconds, or smashing your keyboard. So I'll just get right into it. We use this exact scripting framework to generate over $108,000 in directly attributable revenue for Daniel Fazio, also known as Cold Email Wizard, in 82 days. So I'll get right into it. As long as you follow this step-by-step -step guide, you'll be able to double your workflow, get more views, and more importantly, get more calls booked on the calendar, because that's the whole point of making content, right? So somewhere inside of this video, I'll leave a link to one of our YouTube scripts and also a downloadable template. It's gonna be fill in the blank, so it'll be super easy. So step one is the script outline, so I'm just gonna explain how it looks step-by-step. -step. So first things first, you wanna generate ideas, right? We use vidIQ to check the search volume. Sometimes it kind of lies a little bit, so you have to cross-check it, see, how many videos are actually up for a certain topic and what your competition is doing. But more on that on another video, I'm mainly gonna go through the scripting framework inside of this video. So number one for the title, you're gonna need an attention grabbing title relevant to the target audience and video topic. Usually you wanna try and make your title searchable. So make it feel like a sentence, right? What you'll see a lot of the time is people try and cut corners and use AI and the titles are like written with a colon. So it'll be like X, Y, Z, cult and then like words right like it, it looks super weird and blocky it's like two titles put together but it needs to flow in one kind of uniform fashion so after the title comes the hook right so you want to like honestly not even quickly introduce yourself that's only if you're targeting b2c but if you're going b2b you just want to get to the point asap right like you want to make the hook super concise and i'll show you guys an example of a good hook in a bit you want to make sure your hook flows nicely into the body so yeah this is just a summary and then i'll break down an actual example so for the body you basically just want to use bullet points right because while you're recording you want to elaborate on the bullet points it'll feel a lot more natural if you script something out word for word it's really not going to be good because you're just constantly you're gonna look at the script, you're gonna be reading off it, you're gonna feel like a robot, right? And that's what makes people click off. So somewhere in the middle of the video, you wanna plug your offer in 20 seconds or less. You don't really wanna do it in the middle, you wanna do it towards like the one third mark, sort of around there. It depends, if you have really good retention, you can push it off to 50%, but just make sure you don't plug it like right away after the hook, that's kind of weird. And then you just wanna continue the body, so same thing, just rip some bullet points. And then the outro, you wanna sell them on the idea of watching another YouTube video. And then at the same time, right after that, you also wanna push them towards a lead magnet, landing page, etc. So yeah, super simple. And then you also just wanna ask for like, like and sub, ask them to comment any video ideas or feedback, but you wanna keep the outro super, super concise so that people like just mainly pay attention to the other video or your lead magnet. So key takeaway, if you're targeting B2B audience, it's extremely important that you get right into the body of the video as fast as possible. Do not make an absurdly long hook unless you're targeting a B2C audience, right? So remember, I'm talking B2B here. And then after the hook, you wanna mention social proof if it's relevant, and then you wanna get right into it. Ideally, you get into the body of the video within the first 10 to 30 seconds of the video starting. The faster, the better. When we're targeting these business owners, they don't really care about like nicely thought out hooks. You just have to validate the click, right? Make the viewer feel like, okay, I clicked this video and I'm actually gonna get the information I was looking for when I tried to find this video in the search bar. Right, super simple. So here's an example of what a good script looks like. So this is one we wrote for Daniel. So it's like how to scale your B2B business through social media. So I have a screenshot of the SEO score. This is from a software called vidIQ. It's like 50 bucks a month. I'll leave a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so I'll get a couple bucks here and there. But essentially we're just checking the how many searches there are per month. And then we're also checking the competition level, right? This is pretty blurry, but it says very low and then medium search volume. Usually anything over a thousand searches per month, you can hit it and it'll be good. And then yeah, we just put the whole title in there we're also looking at the individual keywords as well but i don't want to go too in depth into kind of finding ideas that's for another video i want to talk about the script so this is the hook essentially it's insanely short like you could read this in like 20 seconds so basically the b2b space has completely changed so right away i'm hooking them in they're like oh how has it changed you know some people watching this video maybe they've been in the b2b space for like ages right and they're like what kind of change you know what i mean so we're, we're like intriguing them we're making them want to watch the video to see what the hell daniel was talking about right so yeah we're saying oh people are doing their research before buying and then that's something a lot of people don't know so really like we're giving them like information that not a lot of people think about so we're just building that interest and then we're like the main way to you know get your target audience's trust is to create a social media flywheel right so we use like a cool word like social media flywheel like what the hell is that and then boom right into the body no like oh let's get right into it oh like and subscribe before we start it's like no why would somebody like and subscribe before they watch the video right it makes no sense so you want to get into the body. I'm really not going to read this word for word because that's going to be insanely boring. 
This is just to give you an idea of what it looks like. And there's gonna be a link to this Gamma doc and also some other resources in the description. You just have to opt in name, email, phone number. So here, like it's really just bullet points and like sub bullet points. For this script, we kind of wrote out some extra words into it. Usually we actually put a bit less. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Pause and read and then talk about like the outcome of if they implement this. So basically sell them on the idea of implementing it. And then you wanna get into the outro, right? So the outro is insanely short, right? So I pushed them to another video. I was like, now, if you wanna know an accurate timeline of going from zero to 50K a month and how to push past every revenue barrier inside, you should watch this video. The reason why we're telling them to watch another video is because if YouTube sees that a viewer watched one video and then another one and another one on your channel, they're gonna be like, okay, this guy, he knows how to keep the viewer on YouTube. He's keeping the viewer satisfied. So I'm gonna boost his videos to more people, right? And the reason why YouTube's boosting your video is because YouTube makes more money depending on how long the user stays on YouTube, right? They're making money from ads. YouTube takes a 55 to 45% cut of all your ad spend. I kind of forget the exact number and yeah. And then at the end, we have the CTA. So we're like, and if you wanna scale from a few clients to 50 to 80K a month, you should join my coaching program. It's the first link in the description. You always wanna have like your main link as the first link. And you just say, make sure to subscribe, peace. Do not drag this out. You want to keep it concise, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole scripting framework. And then we usually do this manually. Like we're always typing. There is some like AI tricks I could go into in another video, but usually when you write it manually, it's better. Or you can use AI just to like get the initial framework and then you like, you have to go in and tweak it. We do that sometimes as well. And yeah, what's cool is you can literally take this example and then plug it into ChatGPT and then use the fill in the blank template that's in the description to generate scripts for you. Once again, you will have to edit it, but it's probably gonna boost your workflow by like 30 to 50%. So yeah, if you wanna grab a fill in the blank template of this script, first link in the description. And then yeah, scripting is just one piece of the puzzle though. So if you're sick and tired of spending 15 plus hours a week on content without seeing any tangible results, constantly procrastinating getting in front of the camera and deprioritizing, like I can imagine a good amount of you are like, oh, I'm gonna record in Q4 and then Q4 comes and you're like, oh shit, I'll just record in Q1, right? You're constantly procrastinating. And then if you're also sick and tired of having to constantly re-explain yourself to uneducated prospects on sales calls, or you're getting hit with writer's block every time you block out time to script, you should probably work with someone like me because I will actually guarantee that I will get you results and I'll do everything for you, you just have to record. So if that sounds kind of interesting to you, you wanna hit the first link in the description. After you opt in, there's gonna be a book a call button so you can grab some time on my calendar. I have some time next week. And one more thing I wanna say is that if you opt in, you'll also get some free resources sent to you over email and you'll also be added to my newsletter where I'm sending usually like four emails per week. So once again, first link in the description. And if you wanna see how we make thumbnails that actually get good click-through rates, you wanna hit that other video on screen right now. That's it, peace out.